Becoming a machine learning engineer can be very overwhelming at first. I mean, so many libraries, so many frameworks, so many concepts, so many names. It's very difficult to know where to start, and, and I get it. But don't worry if you're just beginning your journey, because I felt exactly the same when I was beginning mine. So that's why today I'm bringing you some resources that I think will help you a lot along the way. I'm going to structure this video in three sections, depending on the type of resource. The first section is going to be about video resources. The second one is going to be about blogs. Some of these uh, blogs, I still read them regularly. And the third one is going to be about books, uh, specifically two books that I always recommend to anyone who asks me about how to begin in machine learning. Okay, so if you are ready, let's get into it. So the first resource I wanted to share with you is this Coursera course by um, Andrew Eng of Deep Learning AI. It's called Machine Learning in Production. And for me, it's a very good introduction to for you to understand what is really the task that a machine learning engineer has to do and also the difference between a machine learning model and a machine learning system. This uh, course um, highlights very well the difference between these two uh, components and how a machine learning model is just a component of a machine learning system. Okay, uh, so yeah, it has uh, three modules and you have one week per, per module. And, and the first week is just some um, introduct introductory definitions, like uh, what is uh, the different deployment patterns, what is a machine learning system, the components of a machine learning system, for example, how uh, machine learning applications differ from software engineering applications like traditional applications, uh, different um, topics about monitoring, pipeline monitoring, etc. And then if you keep, um, keep advancing on the different modules, you will see uh, more in detail stuff about many of the machine learning engineering uh, tasks, like for example, how to properly implement machine learning pipelines and how to deploy the pipelines to some cloud provider, then how to build uh, fast API applications to serve your models, how to monitor these models, how to detect drift or data drift and also um, model drift, the different types of drift. I mean, it's a very good way to get started into this field. I wouldn't say this is um, an in-depth course, to be honest, uh, but I would say that it's uh, ideal if you want to get a grasp of the field. And if you like this course, if you like this content, then you will probably want, uh, you will probably like to become a machine learning engineer. Okay, so this is the first uh, resource. We are going to get into the second one. This is my favorite one, uh, by the way. It's called Made with ML by Goku Mohandas. And what I really like about this uh, resource is that it highlights really well how machine learning engineering is a mixture, is like the mix of software engineering principles, good principles, good practices, and uh, machine learning, and also a bit of data engineering. But, but yeah, it teaches you a lot about how to apply good software engineering practices to your machine learning projects, to your machine learning applications. And the course is a structure as a proper ML application. So if you uh, iterate through the different modules, the different sections of this course, you will end up with a functional machine learning application, which is really cool. You will build throughout this course um, a machine learning application that works. And that's uh, that's really interesting. And yeah, uh, if you go to different sections, you will see that it uh, teaches you about the data, how to uh, prepare the data, explore the data, um, extract features from the data, etc. Also, in terms of the model, how to train your model, evaluation of your models, hyperparam tuning with uh, different frameworks that it also teaches you and, and shows you the basics. Um, yeah, and if you keep going, uh, you will see more software engineering principles, like how to do proper tests, how to do proper logging, how to, uh, for example, reproduce or version your your model and how to uh, apply some DevOps principles into your machine learning project. And this is really cool because this course introduces some MLOps concepts and principles. And that's something very, very, very interesting because even if some people differ, uh, differentiate between machine learning engineer and MLOps engineer, 
sometimes you will see that when you are developing, you are building an application, that difference is not quite right. I mean, you might be a machine learning engineer that has to do some things related with DevOps, okay? So in that sense, it will teach you uh, a lot of stuff about how to implement proper CI CD pipelines. In this case, it will it will use GitHub Actions for that. But yeah, what are jobs and services in a CI CD pipeline, CI CD workflows, uh, monitoring your model, uh, version and your model, uh, experiment trackers like MLflow, for example, uh, experiment versioning, um, model registries, all of these concepts are going to be covered in this resource. And that's the reason why it's one of my favorite ones because um, it's really cool to have a functioning application when you finish uh, a course, okay? And you will learn a lot through it. Okay, and as for my last uh, video resource, my last course, I'm going to share with you this one. Uh, the, the web is called the full stack and it offers two courses right now. One is related with LLMs. So if you are interested in this field, you have this LLM bootcamp that teaches you how to build LLM applications. By the way, you can see here a recommendation by Andre Karpathy, which for me is a very good sign. Uh, and yeah, if you go to Deep Learning Course, this is the one that I'm going to, to share with you today because, I mean, it's okay to start with LLMs. I won't judge you for that, but I'm very traditional in that sense. And I think it's necessary to know the basics of traditional machine learning, deep learning, etc., to really exploit all the benefits and all the potential that LLMs uh, have to offer. Okay. But that's my, my personal opinion. If you go to Deep Learning Course, you need to go to the edition of 2022 FSDL, Full Stack Deep Learning. And if you click here, you will see a lot of different lectures covering several topics uh, like the development infrastructure, how to use GPUs for training and for uh, serving your models, uh, data annotation, data management, uh, different patterns for, uh, for deployment, web deployment, how to build uh, APIs to serve your models, and also how to use uh, front-end uh, frameworks, like for example, Gradio or Streamlit, to put an interface to your ML application, etc. It's really, it's really complete for me, and also it's really funny. I mean, because it's really practical, it's really hands-on, and you will see a lot of cool stuff that you can then apply to your personal project. So uh, I would highly recommend this, this resource. Okay, so now we are going to move into the blogs or articles recommendations. Uh, I have three selected for you, so let's take a look at them. So this is the first uh, blog I wanted to, to share with you, to show you. It's uh, Eugene Jan's uh, blog. Uh, Eugene is a senior applied scientist in Amazon, and he is a huge expert in both recommender systems and LLMs. Uh, here I'm going to show you his uh, personal uh, blog, but he also contributes to um, webs like Applying ML that we will show uh, that I will show you later, and Applying LLMs. Uh, they have recently created a very a very good course as well. But yeah, this is his personal blog. And if you go to the start here buttons, you will see a lot of articles that he has been publishing throughout these years. And I can assure you that no matter which one you click, they are extremely high quality. I mean, it's uh, amazing. I mean, if you are into LLMs, he has a lot of articles regarding LLMs. The ones that I uh, enjoy the most are about uh, LLM evaluation and because I think this is a topic that uh, recently uh, has been really overlooked by the community. I mean, we like uh, putting LLMs into production and to exploiting all the possibilities of Rack, but many people tend to forget about evaluating the systems. And Eugene puts a lot of effort into highlighting the importance of evaluating both your LLM, Rack applications, whatever, okay? In general, evaluating all uh, ML or AI applications, call it whatever you want. It also has uh, a lot of relevant articles about recommender systems. In my case, since I work in this field right now, I really appreciate this uh, high quality content because um, I can take a lot of ideas and a lot of knowledge for this from this blog. 
So as for the second recommendation, I'm going to show you Chip Huyen's uh, personal blog. Uh, Chip is also a rock and roll star in the ML field. Um, I mean, she's completely amazing. She has worked for NVIDIA, Snorkel AI, Netflix, etc. She has also founded uh, a company, Claypot AI. I mean, it's uh, completely amazing. And in addition to that, she has uh, written a, a very cool book, uh, Designing Machine Learning Systems, that we are going to see in the last section of this video. And she's also writing another one about AI engineering. So it's... Uh, it's amazing. One of the best articles for me in this blog that I strongly recommend you to read is the one about reinforcement learning from human feedback. I strongly recommend you, I strongly advise you to read through this article. I mean, every token in this article is worth uh, reading. And now we are going to the last one. I'm not going to get into too much details about this one, uh, applying ML. And yeah, this page provides a lot of guides, a lot of advice and teardowns on how to apply machine learning in production. And now we are going to get into the last section where I'm going to recommend you two books. So let's get into it. So this is the last section of the video. And here I'm going to recommend you two books that, at least in my experience, helped me a lot throughout the journey. The first one is called Designing Data Intensive Applications by Martin Kleppen. It's this one right here. And I wouldn't say that it's an ML related book. I mean, it's not about machine learning applications. Uh, you won't see um, concepts like feature stores or like uh, model registries or stuff like that. But it is, at least for me, really necessary if you want to learn the basics beneath all the systems that are going to sustain your machine learning applications. Okay, if you want to really understand how a NoSQL database works or how uh, distributed systems work, uh, how uh, the MapReduce paradigm uh, is applied and how the partitioning of data can work in distributed file systems or how, uh, for example, how to differentiate in an application between the use of a batch uh, philosophy or a real-time or a streaming philosophy. All of these concepts are really necessary and if we understand that many of the ML applications are really data intensive in terms that they need all the ML models will need a lot of data to be trained for example and in many cases for example uh, think of Spotify or of Amazon from just to put two examples these two Recommender systems are going to provide a service to millions of customers. And as you can expect, we will need a very resilient and a very scalable system to deal with uh, that amount of customers and of users. So that's, uh, yeah, that's basically in a nutshell what I really enjoyed about this book, uh, learning how to build data intensive applications and all the potential uh, problems and issues you might find when you're trying to, to build one. And the second one, uh, for the second one, the, the author, uh, we already talked about her, uh, it's uh, Chip Huyen, uh, right here, and it's called uh, Designing Machine Learning Systems, an Iterative Process for Production-Ready Applications. This is uh, probably my favorite book uh, to start with uh, machine learning engineering, and yeah, it covers um, everything that you need to, to know. So from the beginning, like uh, when to use machine learning, because sometimes you won't need to use machine learning, uh, introduction to, to machine learning uh, design, all the design patterns that you might encounter when you start building real world machine learning applications. What is a feature store? When to use feature stores? Uh, what is a model registry? What is a experiment tracker? How to build machine learning pipelines using frameworks like uh, Metaflow or Qflow or Vertex pipelines or whatever. Uh, how to, for example, do proper feature engineering, how to track the lineage of your data, all the different paradigms, all the different patterns for serving your model, uh, all the different techniques for optimizing your model uh, in runtime. All of this is covered in this fantastic book that I strongly recommend to you. So if you have a try and you have the budget, I will recommend you to, to buy this book, okay? And that's basically it. I hope that all of these recommendations and all of these resources are helpful for you on your journey to, to becoming a machine learning engineer. 
And this is everything for today. So I hope I uh, will see you in the next video. So happy coding. <laughs>